In this online lecture, we're going to discuss simply some basics of electromagnetic waves. Most of what we're going to see here you probably learned before in other introductory science courses. But just in case, let's talk about our first vocab term here, the term wavelength. This is simply the distance from crest to crest of a wave, and usually denoted as lambda in various equations. Wavelength is typically measured in meters, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Another measurement related to wavelength is something called wave number. Wave number typically looks like the symbol for a V with a bar over it, and its units are centimeters to the negative one. What it equals is simply 10 to the 4 divided by the wavelength. But notice our wavelength in this case is being measured in units of nanometers. This simply spits out wave numbers as centimeters to the negative one. Another thing that could be measured concerning a wave is its propagation or speed through a medium. Since we're dealing with electromagnetic radiation, light, the speed of light is usually represented as C and is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second in a vacuum. Now another very important thing that could be measured concerning a wave is something called frequency. And think of where that word comes from. Frequency comes from the word frequently. And what it measures is something that happens frequently in a wave. And that is, notice the arrow here. As this wave propagates, let's say, from left to right, you would see this wave move up and down. How many cycles it goes through per second would be actually the frequency. And a cycle would be, for instance, the wave starting down, like you see here in this picture, moving up to the top of the arrow, and then moving back down to where it started. That would be one full cycle. How many cycles happen per second is the frequency. And frequency could be measured in something called hertz, which is usually denoted as hz. Now, if those are the things we could measure, what are some of the equations we should know concerning waves? Well, we should know this very popular one right here, which says the energy of a wave is equal to h, Planck's constant, times the frequency of the wave. Notice here, h is a constant, but it's f that could vary. So this equation is telling us a very important concept, and that is that the higher the frequency of a wave, the higher the energy. Another famous wave equation is this one. The speed of a wave, c, is equal to lambda times frequency. And the last equation we should know is simply the combination of these two equations. If you plug one into the other, you end up with this equation. The energy of a wave is equal to h, Planck's constant, times the speed, c, divided by lambda. What I want you to notice here is the relationship between the wavelength of a wave and energy. Notice they're inversely proportional. That is, as the wavelength goes up, energy of the wave goes down. Which brings us to our last wave basic here. You should be aware of something called the electromagnetic spectrum. It's basically split up into various regions, with the middle region usually called the visible region. And the one here to the right of it called the IR, or infrared region. To the right of IR is the microwave region, and to the right of him is the radio wave region. And notice the left of visible is UV or ultraviolet. Then to the left of him is X-rays. To the left of him is gamma rays. And we're going to see the highest energy waves are cosmic rays, CM. We should not only know that the spectrum is chopped up into these regions, but what is the trend in terms of, let's say, frequency? What we want to understand is that as you move from right to left on this chart, frequency increases. In other words, the frequency of the waves in the visible section are higher than the frequency of waves in the IR section. Which brings us to the other truth we should know. Remember, our equation that says E equals H times frequency means that as you move from right to left on this chart, energy also increases. And the last trend we should know is related to this equation right here. Notice, since the speed of the light is constant, C, that means if f increases as you move from right to left, that means lambda has to decrease. So as you move from right to left here, the wavelength of these waves decrease. These are basic trends that we should be aware of concerning electromagnetic waves.